All right, I've done the arena. I've done my um, hard Iron Man series, which I'll be making another one tomorrow or the next day. So I thought I would share an OPR video. Um, obviously, the first thing to do is get Zephyr Cakes. Honestly, when I have Zephyr Cakes, I feel like 10 times more powerful, more. It's just night and day difference, so. It's sort of mandatory now, I always just get Zephyr Cakes. Basically, if melee people are chasing after you, um, they can't catch you nearly as easily, so it makes you much more invincible. So I start making my way down to Star, but find a little XV1 situation that I can jump in on. So chuck a little Ice Storm on him, and then he finishes off. I finish him off at top, and then I carry on down towards Star. I seem to be finding all sorts of little treats on my way because uh, this guy comes down, he's trying to obviously mine and stuff and uh, just, thankfully for me, just runs off in a straight line so he's easy to um, kill. Alright, so we're getting beaten but we've managed to take Star and then what we're basically trying to do is hold everybody up as they um, come out of the base and so I'm just trying to sort of put myself in the thick of battle and trying to create a, like, I don't, I don't necessarily care if I, um, I don't really necessarily care if I'm killing anyone right here, I just want to be, like, getting as many people on me as possible, although, I do get kills, so, it's all good, but, um, so that's what I'm doing right now, so I'm having a fight with this mage, but I'm actually playing really, really badly, I haven't done an OPR for a while, and I'm just doing some real bot moves, but, I actually managed to, um, yeah, finish him up with a little help from my friends, so that's good. So, just start attacking them as they're moving down the hill, but their numbers definitely start to build up. And so, um, I'm sort of attacking them, but, my t yeah, we just sort of see that their numbers are a little bit high, so we s back up to behind Star, but we've got two cap now, oh so God, capping that, fighting those people at Star did hold them up, enabled for us to um, cap it, which is definitely an advantage. So the plan, just get to some safety, and then the plan is just to just try to pull some people off on the sides and kill them. We get this guy really low, but he manages to get away. So I'm just trying to make sure that I can attack them, but I also have line of sight so that if um, any of them, too many of them start to attack us, then I can duck behind. Like you just see there, the guy casts a fireball, and I'm able to just break line of sight, and I'm hoping to kind of drag them back to these trees where we've got line of sight and we can really attack them. Um, so I'm trying to put my AOEs on them. These oh, bloody wolves come along and ruin my life. I see that guy's got the ulti, so I need to. I go into the ice tomb, so when it explodes, it's doing damage for me. But my team makes in massive trouble, and then I realise I'm getting hit by a bow as well, and my health's already low. So I dodge madly to get out of there, and then I bloody run into this great sword guy, and I don't have any more dodges left, and he just finishes me up. So yeah, that was not a good. Um, start, but it gets a bit more exciting now. <clears throat> so I come back down, and the score is pretty even, but they have two cap dice, and we've got one cap, so they're starting to lose. And I'm just being really careful, like, I'm obviously trying to fight everyone, get a little kill there, but I'm also just trying to make sure that I stay around the line of sight. You gotta keep moving, especially as a mage. Um, keep using that line of sight, and then muskets and bows aren't really a problem. Um, and plus, like I've said in so many times now, the mage is... I can't think of a better line of sight class than the mage. The mage is... excels at fighting around line of sight. You know, because if they can chase after me, I can drop down an ice storm if I have one. I can just charge through them, get line of sight again. I can put down Nancy Pylon. You know, it's just like the mage is very good when it's got line of sight that it seems to its advantage. Um, but unfortunately, I just get too many people on me. I think there's a little five man running around and they're just like wasting people. But that's okay because things start to turn around there here a little bit. Okay, so I come back down here and then I see that there's a whole bunch of people fighting around the rock. This, like I just said before, this is not the perfect location for me because I am just so out in the open. Um, so I decide to move down to these rocks here where I can sort of attack them, but I've got a bit of line of sight. Um, but obviously now I push back up. So they've got kind of their attention focused on other people, So they're, and, and I'm just trying to kill them off because we want to get them 
or obviously we want to just kind of keep them not from getting the moon as well so here i just charge back in managed to kill someone with flamethrower managed to run into a bit of bamboo and then i kill someone with my um flamethrower he obviously gets a burn on him or something oh no i um monty pylon kills him now we move around uh to stop them from pushing up the road do a bit of a counter fence we've actually managed to lock them out oh, of yeah, I don't know where you are. baron so that means we will be oh, able yeah, to gain right some here. points so it looks like it's heading for a big fight see this guy here i won't call his name out but apparently he was like teabagging heaps of people die. being a bit of a nuisance so um my we, we were just trying to make sure that he died basically <laughs> so that my um duo partner can get some uh, revenge tea bags in <laughs> he hadn't tea bagged me though so yeah whatever okay so i think we've successfully defended the, the moon and um now we are just wrapping people up on the outside and then we're just gonna go and push and take mid so we're about to cap mid and then a whole bunch of them start pushing in so I just go, uh, mages are very strong in line of sight. They also, I think backline mages are a little bit more powerful than those melee mages that have been running around lately. So my first thing is, okay, there's a whole bunch of them running in. So let's just get to safety and attack from, get from a bit of distance. You can see me calling out for line of sight because I knew that we were going to lose mid. So I just wanted to make sure that when they pushed out, um, that we were near line of sight for that, that kind of safety. You can see also that as they've pushed out, they've been suddenly taking a lot of firepower. So we're actually, looks like we're holding them, although they're pushing up the hill quite nicely. So they've got momentum a little bit early to tell. I uh, know they've, they've definitely got momentum. <laughs> they're pushing up the hill. So kind of my, get a kill there. My job as a mage right now, which is also what mages are really effective at, is just making sure that I put heaps of damage into a lot of them to stop that momentum from happening and um, hopefully kind of type, change the tide of battle a little bit and push them back. So that does actually seem to be happening. We got a few wipes there. And so now we're just applying the pressure on them. So hopefully these, really little, these little nink and poops go back into their uh, hidey hole. And then we've got to figure out how we're going to uh, change the score around. So you can see from getting barren, we've kind of got the score back to roughly equal. So they've started pushing back up the hill. Um, and we don't seem to be holding them back again. I'm kind of definitely keeping my distance here But unfortunately, I'm just kind of being a bit of a noob and not hitting anyone which is kind of stupid um, But again just trying to kind of get the, a little bit of their attention on me so I can pull them away And then that stops their main force from having so much power So hopefully changing the tide of battle a little bit. I've definitely got a few people on me now Great source which is not nice to hear but this guy's totally overextended he just ran through all my AoEs and also just got finished up by my Monty Pylon, wasn't even paying attention. This is Terry Teabag, so <laughs> I guess we're just trying to take the piss out of him a little bit. Hey look, you got if you're gonna teabag everybody, you've gotta be willing to take gotta to be willing to take the knocks. Okay, so here we're now pushing to star because we're just not getting momentum at moon and they're starting to pull away on the score. So our goal here really is to Hopefully try to take star, but really that's not the main thing. The main objective is to try to get as many people on us as possible and try to stay alive as long as possible so that people aren't being trickling into sun. They get focused on us and then our guys can hopefully get sun back. So this is the first of the uh, contenders here. He just runs right into my AOE. I put Monty Pylon down. Just trying to whittle him away. Using flamethrower on him until he gets kind of close, but he, yeah, Monty, uh, Monty Pylon, flamethrower kind of scares people, um, but I managed to secure that kill, so that's the first one down. Yeah, I reckon it's because I've jumping off. So we've been way. blasting away at that door, um, and then some people jump down to defend it, so that's good. We can finally get to get some more fights. So this squishy little champion just jumps on my teammate, who's the bow guy. So I um, put all of my flamethrower into him and just blast a lot of damage into him. And then he decides to try to run away. And he's out of stamina, but, you know, oh, get, him, get him with my fireball. Um, my aiming is getting better. I've lowered down my DPI quite a bit. And I've noticed that I'm hitting way more of my shots. But uh, I still need to improve in that department because I've been playing melee for too long. He tries to go for the surprise attack. Good. That's good. He got line of sight. Let's go for the... 
go for the surprise attack, but you know what? You can't you can't line of sight and ice storm, can ya? Exhibit A for Mage has been line of sight kings. Put down Monty Pylon. Get me. I get line of sight, so he's still taking damage. Put a bit of flamethrower into him before he can reach me. Chuck a fireball on him. Yeah. So I put a lot of damage into him. Putting down another ice storm behind the tree, so they're taking damage, whereas I'm not. Um, so yeah, we're just going to whip them yeah, down, yeah, yeah. seeing which one is going to get low on health. I get a little bit closer because, you know, with a mage and a bow, you want to put the pressure on them, throw a fireball on them, and then he gets finished off with my teammate. And then we've got yeah, this other guy to deal with, line. but now we've got a second person coming in for the fight. This time it looks like we've got a great sword, which is always a little scary because they hit so bloody hard. But you, I think one of the things I've noticed with great sword is they actually are a little bit predictable in their attacks. So you just want to take your time and not be too worried. We're definitely lowering them down. So I put some flamethrowers into one. We managed to kill them off. My teammate does anyway. And then it's just getting this last guy. Monty Pilon killed someone behind me that we got low, so that was good. Now I get the spear guy on me. I think this might have been the guy from before. Throw a fireball right in his face. Wow, it's never a pleasant right experience. And then I just use flamethrower around. Just trying to finish him off. Come on, stormtrooper aim. Please work. I put Monty Pilon. That means he can't run around the side here without taking damage. And then we can just lock him down on the other side. Hit him with a fireball again. He's doing a good job, Kaidin. And again, just finish him off with a flamethrower. Honestly, that flamethrower. I don't care what people say. Like, you've got bows that hit real hard. You've got muskets that can hit from blimmin', you know, thousands of kilometers away. Like, what's wrong with flamethrower when everyone else is... A great sword, like, hits you and kills you in two hits. So, flamethrower isn't that hard to counter. Nice. Anyway, sorry, finish all these guys off. Good, dude. Oh, shit. Jesus, like, what is the spear bloody... Spear bloody... Like, OPR or something. There's, like, so many people with spears at the moment. Anyway, that guy tries to get the gank on me. Um, and especially while I'm trying to record my video. So, you know, I have to madly get out of my screen. We've got a few more blues coming in now. So, we've actually got the new, the numbers oh, advantage. My friend, my, um... Fuck you, man. You just blow the people's out. Yeah, you can hear what I'm saying, a little bit excited, but he's been getting really good on his bow aim, and I just saw that guy's health go down, like, pretty quickly. So, we're getting a lot of people attacking us, so I'm like, okay, let's get line of sight. Uh, back to line of sight, because that's, again, that's where we're most oh, powerful. Shit. I just oh, run no. right it's into like, a whole bunch of enemies. So I put down an ice storm to try to slow them down as I retreat through the bamboo and the trees and I actually think, I can't quite believe it, but I think I get away. That's because they're getting on my uh, teammate or a few other blues, so of course what do I do? Just turn around and run right back into them. But this is, I'm pretty sure this is a five man because I've seen that five man clumped up and running around and killing people quite a lot. And although I'm likely to die by attacking them because they'll just come and single target you and there's not much you can do against five people um i think if you can get their attention on you and slow them down a little bit again that just helps out the team so sometimes it's worth taking the kill so i see this guy trying to jump up the rock not sure why what is he like a sniper or something he's got a great sword on his back um but he might have a sniper on him because he's taking a lot of damage get monty pylon on him start trying to hit him with some fire attacks then i managed to finish him off and monty Honestly, that pylon is like such a good skill, Ooh, good and I'm job. surprised not many people guy. use it. Okay, and then there's this other guy who's like trying to take cover around the side, but um, unfortunately we just happened yeah, to walk like at him. So now we have two nodes, but they've locked us, so we're down 100 points, so yeah, and they're starting to cap sun, so things aren't looking good from our end. So I see these guys attacking middle, which can't stand really so I throw a fireball on them and then try to drag them back into the line of sight which is like yeah this is kind of our advantage chucking chucking us at okay, AUE but I'm getting hit by in. some musket person and so I'm like hmm where do I go now <laughs> so I pull back to our team which seems to be fighting in the middle of nowhere which is always a really great strategy in the middle of an OPR that you're losing and uh but having said that I do that and come and join them and I see this guy's getting low so I try to put some damage into him. Bloody fireball hits the side of the rock. He actually does a pretty good fireball on me. Um, and then I try to finish him off with a flamethrower. But for some reason it's deciding not to do any damage. But he gets killed by 
Yeah, of course. He gets killed by a musket guy that's probably sitting on the top of the Blimmin' Tower, 30 miles away. Should I get into Star game? Musket's great. So we hold mid, uh, no, they're holding mid, but looks like our guys are doing a good job of trying to get it. So again, no, I push down here a little bit to try to stop them from resupplying their men, basically. Um, and getting a lot of them on me whilst we've got the line of sight. So just kind of attacking and retreating. Bit of Cossack style play here, but we get a little, a little more than we anticipated to get on us. So I'm just trying to put some slows on them, a bit of CCs. Just sort of also trying to keep my distance. Pretty sure that's the five man chasing after yeah, us. But, they want to come up, um, they but the then I sort of say pull back because then if they chase after us, they're actually running further away from the base, not closer to it. And then I get fucking stuck in this and I just can't get oh, out. And then, yeah, I end up bloody dying, which is kind of annoying. <laughs> so we come back over to Star, hoping that we can nab that off. Two things we'll get from this, we will obviously get another node, but also we're going to kill off one of their spawn points, which stops the resupply. Um, well, slows down the speed of it anyway. So, we, objective one is achieved. This poor guy just comes <laughs> right out of the middle of like four of us. So, and this guy just gives up all hope of surviving. So, we managed to start capping the node. Wow. So this will allow us to get some points off them quite nicely. You can see that I'm doing well in terms of kills, topping the scoreboard and kills, and I'd be top three, I'd say, in terms of damage. So this is, you know, even though Major's been nerfed, it's still highly effective. Um, people can go on and on about it being, uh, being stat padding, but in the end, like, if you're putting a lot of damage into a whole bunch of people, which oh, that hang Mage on, yeah. does, then that's a whole bunch of damage that they need to heal, so yeah. Okay, so stock up on the Zephyr Cakes. This is just such a must-have as a mage, especially because it allows you to kite people really, really well. It just increases your survivability tenfold. Like, it turns the mage into a really good... Ah, oh, I get caught this. by a root. It's big problems for me. I've just got a lot of people on me, and they're all great swords, which isn't much fun. So I'm in full kite mode. Managed to make it to the top of the stairs. And then for some unknown reason, I charge back into them. But now we are in the safety of our, of our team, but I can sort of... Danger, danger. So I come up here, and then I try to flamethrow them as they come up, but stupidly oh get God. absolutely wrecked by that great sword. So that wasn't the smartest of moves. So I come back, and we try to fight. We actually get mid, but yeah, they just have too much of a um, score advantage on us, so... They um, end up running away with it, but um, yeah, it's still I'm still having a lot of fun on Mage and OPRs. It's just a really effective class. Um, at the moment, I'm running 200 con, but I think I might reduce it down to 150 con. As long as you use line of sight, I think the main thing is just make sure you're always really standing next to something that you can dodge behind. Um, and when people try to attack you, just drop each of your AOEs on them and stuff. It's very very helpful. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you all later.